Hello Pisces, this is my lady from A Lady's Way Terry, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 24th through the 31st, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the books and ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing, and sending up personal readings. So somebody has... Um, they feeling good about themselves. Their um, self esteem is going up, and I mean, they just feel good. Uh, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thank everybody for scheduling personal readings. And if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, let's get this show in a row. All right, what's going on for Pisces? Pisces. Okay, some of you are not looking at things for what they are. Okay. Yeah, some of you are trying to look around the truth. All right, what's going on for Pisces? July 24th through the 31st, 2017. I love reading Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay, there we go again. So, yeah, somebody is, is feeling good about their self. Somebody's feeling empowered by the situation. It, whatever, whatever situation, but they have come to a time of happiness, inner happiness. Sorry, you guys got a flyer. All right, so somebody or some of you are happy with um, maybe a situation where somebody came out and said something, or somebody or somebody was able to come out and be honest about something. Okay. Okay, so, this is weird. Okay, so, I guess I'm sort of feeling like somebody was honest about something and they were able to let something go, which made them feel better on the inside. Or maybe somebody is starting to feel better about being let go in the past. They came to terms of what happened and, you know, they're starting to feel better about themselves like it's not their fault that whatever this is, got another floater. Ooh. So I feel like for some of you, um, this means that you're you're you were still attracted to this person or somebody is attracted to you, but you letting them go. Are you still attracted to this person that you let it go letting go? Well, whatever the case, letting go of this person is making you feel better, like being honest and letting go. All right, so I'm feeling like the person that is being let go was more of a, a giver, I mean, a, a taker. So, And you're trying to be in some situation where you are giving and take. It's not just a take, take, take. Okay, there is some secrets going on here. So basically, they're saying there's some secrets going on, and I'm feeling like this might be a new situation that you're dealing with, and it's saying you need to stop. Okay, so maybe you're in a new relationship or thinking about talking to a new person, or you, some of you are going back to the same person that you left because they being honest, and it's saying that you need to stop. Whatever you're doing, you need to stop because it's more hidden than you think. All right, what's going on with this unseen? What is this unseen for the Pisces for the month of July 24th through the 31st, 2017? Mm. Okay, so it's basically maybe some of you are hoping too much. You're putting too much hope into this. Um, relationship that's coming. I feel like it's going to be a good relationship, but I feel like you hoping for more with, than what it is and it might ruin it. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody tell you a movie before it happened and then it's so funny and you get there and see it and it's not that great. That's what I feel like is happening here. Okay, so whew. all right, so some of you 
I'm starting to feel like it's a relationship where you leave and come back, leave and come back. And the only reason you came back this time is because they're being honest. And you're still sexually attracted to this person. So you're like, okay. But then as soon as they got back, they start asking for stuff. And that was the unseen event. And you're like, okay, well, maybe it's going to happen better this time. But you're still thinking about timing out because you don't know. You don't know if, if it's worth it. If it's worth another try or is it worth a try at all. Okay, so... Whatever this is, you're taking it slow. But at any moment, it can just, like, take off, you know? All right. Let me do the Cleo deck. So whatever this is, it hasn't been going on for a long time. You know, so three, six months, maybe in and off. Maybe you uh, see this person around, dealing with them for a little while. So I feel like just for some of you, the relationship is a short relationship. You guys just start dating or talking. But for some of you, this feeling of, you know, what's going on or this hidden feeling or this, um, I'm thinking about leaving, that has been going on for just a short while. Okay. All right, what's going on with the Pisces, Pisces, Pisces? What's going on with the Pisces, July 21st through 31st? 24th to 31st, 2017. Pisces. 24th, 31st, 2017. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to read these straight out the book. We got the Seven of Swords. Reversed. Seven of Swords says, result product of your labor, wisdom, and outside support. So basically, yeah, you got people in your ear telling you what you should and shouldn't do. And that's probably why you're contemplating leaving. But, I don't know. Alright, so we got the Five of Cups. Reverse. All right, and this says, information, knowledge of self-history, and a window to correct past behaviors set out for new goals. So, I don't know. For me, this would say not, don't, like you listened to people last time, and it's what got you in this predicament in the first place. So, basically, it's saying listen to yourself, don't listen to others. Like, make this choice yourself. All right, so then you have the Four of Cups reverse. It says, a precursor of, of good things to come, a chance to increase your skill and knowledge. So basically, if it's a new relationship, it seems like it might be a good relationship to start, you know, for the single people in this. If this is a long relationship, I... I feel like they, I feel like they may, might just do the right thing this time. I mean, just the cards, that's what the cards are saying. All right, so. So we have the Knight of Swords. And a lack of strategy, confidence, and self-imposed false sense of security. So all this together makes me feel like um, in the past, you ruined relationships because you're listening to other people. And it's now... You know, you didn't ruin so many relationships dealing with other people. It's like you need to listen to yourself and build your self-esteem up by yourself other than looking for other people to help you with that. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising sign. If you want a person reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful week.